man, my heart goes out to you guys all around the world who have been dealing with this crippling global pandemic for weeks and weeks and weeks now. We, um, as American citizens, we are doing our best. We are following your lead. Those of you who, are, who have been experiencing this for weeks and weeks, months now, and we ourselves are just trying to do the best we can and make the best possible decisions we can possibly make. Um, I do believe as a global entity and as a, as a human race, because this is a human race problem, uh, I do believe that we are going to get through this. Why, why did this happen have to happen to me? I felt like I was a pretty good person. I tried to treat everybody right. I wasn't a prejudiced guy, I loved everybody. I didn't care what color he was, I loved him. So why, why did the Lord pick me? Why did it have to be the, the fortunate one or unfortunate, however you want to look at it, to be stricken down and have to suffer like this? You ask yourself, why me? Instead, ask yourself, now what am I going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Ask yourself that question. And then figure it out. Figure out what you're going to do. Say to yourself, I am going to detach. I am going to assess the situation. I am going to come up with a plan and I am going to execute. Now, where this gets tough is if it is something that seems like it's completely out of your control. And you know what? Some things are completely out of your control, and that's fine. And when that happens, you ask yourself, what can I control? What can I control that will make this situation a little bit better? And then you go. Don't get crushed by things going wrong. Ask yourself, what am I going to do? And then go. I think right now is a time more than ever that we should come together as a community, as family, as friends, and more than ever, you know, as, as a nation and as a world, you know. This coronavirus has affected, you know, billions of people, you know, in some way, shape, or form. People are out of work, people are, you know, out of money. And I, I think now is the time that we need to humble ourselves and realize, you know, what needs to get done. Um, now is the time that we need to act. And we have got to do it today. We have people dying each and every day in our communities in New York City. And we cannot allow for a slow evolution. We can't allow for the federal government to slowly wake up to this crisis. I never, ever gave up. I'd always be like, the next day I'd wake up and say, fuck that shit, you know what I mean? I'm not letting this get to me. I don't care what I gotta do. I'll make it work.
I've been through some bad times in my life and many times and you know doubted myself and you know um, you know a lot of people things happen you know bad in your life and um, they that's where the, that's where it ends for them I mean that could have happened for any of us but I really think the main thing is never to give up no matter how bad things seem at the time there's always someone out there who's going through way worse than you you know that's what I think about a lot I look at other people who um, who have had worse situations than me and you know debts and family um, injuries in the gym accidents money problems girlfriend problems I get people writing me about this kind of stuff all the time they ask me what I do and I just said just never give up We're gonna get through this thing. We will. Everybody have faith and, and, and stay strong and let's all just keep being accountable and doing what we gotta do.